This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, how is it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'll be sharing the complete process of how I created this artwork of a really badass warrior dude and a fierce looking dragon behind him. I'll discuss everything from using 3D assets to photo elements all the way to the paint over process and final detailing. So without wasting any more time, let's do this. As you guys know, I often use some 3D renders from Daz 3D to help with the initial composition and the base of the artwork. I did the exact same thing here. I posed a dragon and a generic looking warrior standing in front of the dragon, positioned the camera and exported a render. I brought this render to Photoshop so I can paint on top of it. Now this render is a PNG, thank god I don't have to make a selection and separate it from the background. I can put basically anything behind these figures. When I am creating an illustration like this, it's always a good idea to just start some loose sketching on the 3D assets in order to get a rough idea about what the design of these characters would look like. While I am sketching these ideas, I can also start thinking about the background and the environment around my main subject. And lastly, I can also plan the lighting scenarios in my painting. So basically this loose sketch will act like a guide for me while I am creating the final artwork. See I loosely sketched the design ideas on the character. like. What sort of armor would he be wearing? What would be the main colors? I also painted some stuff over the dragon as well, so it doesn't look very generic. I thought if I could give this dragon some armor, that'd be very cool, so I did just that. Now when I have the color sketch ready, I have a rough guide on how I would like this finished artwork to turn out. I have a direction and a goal in mind that my painting should go towards. In the sketch we can see some sort of a city or buildings behind the dragon. So I've made some rough shapes and now I'll bash some photos into those shapes. So it looks like there are some old medieval castle structures behind. I will use multiple photos and transform them so they fit better into the perspective. I'll then add loads of smoke similar to what we have in the colored sketch. Next, I'll select the dragon and start adding some basic shadows on it. I'm keeping the color of the shadows close to what's in the background. The whole body of the dragon does not need to be too detailed and too clear. I can lower the details in the shadow and leave it where the light is hitting. If everything in the image is sharp and detailed, it's very hard for the eye to focus on stuff that's more important. After that, I'm painting some armor on the dragon's face, rendering that metal with all the cool specular highlights and stuff, but then quickly realized that it's a problem for another time. So I abandoned it in the middle and now I must work on the main figure. As we can see in the colored sketch, the character is wearing a red tabard. So I'll just strip that tabard from another image and put it on top of this dude. With slight adjustments of course, cause otherwise it looked kind of weird. I would also go on and paint over it cause right now it looks like the warrior has this little tummy sticking out. I don't want that, so I just repainted the folds on the cloth, changed its shape a little bit, added some shadows and toned down the color to a less saturated red. After that, I want to give him a red shield as well. So I found a red shield and replaced his blue shield. I had to transform this image slightly so it fits better with the perspective. Looking good so far. And now I have to create the belts and the helm. So let's do that. I'll also have to add some shadows and stuff to match everything together with the lighting scenario.
now you must be thinking, where should I get these little elements like the helm and the shield and the weapons to use in my artworks? You must be also wondering if it's possible to get these assets in PNG format so you don't have to make selections around them and could just slap them right onto your artwork and BAM it's done. I have the answer. Envato Elements, the sponsor for today's video. Envato Elements has a huge library of over 52 million assets, everything from royalty-free stock photos, footage, fonts, music, and even 3D, which are really helpful for your creative projects. So you go to Envato Elements, go to the 3D section, and type Helm. And look, we have a lot of options to choose from. Select one, view it from any angle, and then download it as a PNG, which means it has a transparent background, which means means you can put it right over your artwork. How cool is that? I've been personally using Envato Elements for a lot of my projects and it's super helpful and really affordable. Click the link down in the description to get your subscription. Alright, back to the video. Now let's continue painting the armor on the dragon. I'll make sure to render it as a bit reflective which means including some really dark darks and some really light lights. It might sound a bit stupid I know but just give it a thought. Next, I'll paint some light over the edges of the dragon and the warrior. This would be a relatively cooler light and it would really help separate them from the environment. Next, it's time to add loads of smoke between the dragon and the human figure. I can use big round brush in combination with some texture brushes to paint that effect. I would also add some light bloom effects and stuff. Now it's time for the tasty part adding a secondary light source. The orange light from the fire as you can see in the sketch. So I'll just put this thing right here, whatever it's called, I have no clue, and then paint some fire in it. I'll then color dodge the area around it and then manually paint all the warm lights on the main character. I absolutely love doing this. I think it's time for a little time lapse of the rest of the process where I paint these highlights, refine some stuff, add some details and overall polish the artwork a bit more. Enjoy the process!
here ladies and gentlemen is the final result. I hope you guys liked this video, hope you learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know your thoughts and suggestions, subscribe if you haven't already, click on that notification thing so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye bye.